Whether you're a brand new youth flag football coach or you're looking for an edge, you got to get your hands on Coach D's Complete Coach Package. It is by far my most popular item yet. It'll give you everything you need to crush it this season as a complete coach, including all my playbooks, all my drill packs, 200 plays, 35 drills, 32 age-based practice schedules, and more. Go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com, click on the complete coach package, and get yours today. And make sure you subscribe to the Flag Football with Coach D YouTube channel so you never miss a video on defense, offense, plays, and more. Everything you need to crush it as a coach. Now let's jump into this week's video. Hi everyone, this is Coach D and Sammy. She is our quarterback and today we're going to talk very quickly about some key quarterback principles. How do I make the short pass? What does my arm need to look like if I'm going over the top? What about that, oh, that fake, right? If I'm gonna do kind of a, a fake, what are some of those principles? What do my feet look like, et cetera? If a, a rusher is coming in, Sammy's in eighth grade, so, I mean, you're having a rusher come in, what are some keys to get, get away from that? So, join us today, let's dive right in. Um, when you're doing your normal short passes we've done a lot of short passing what's your kind of let's talk grip first what's your grip look like let's show that up front <clears throat> all right cool so what she's doing is she's spreading it out just enough over the back side of the laces um, and you can see she's got this index pinky or in index finger just a little bit further out that kind of helps guide when she's throwing. Now, when you throw, what happens with your wrist? It stays straight. It stays straight, okay. But then her fingers, her fingers are likely, so let me see your, your motion right there. You don't have to throw it, but let me see. Okay, do it again. Okay, one thing you also notice is for short passes, kind of like a uh, Lamar Jackson or uh, you know Patrick Mahomes, she's not going over the top to do a quick throw. Let me see your short pass. Yeah, so she's doing this kind of, right? She's not going too high up. So you'll notice that some of your kids are gonna do that and that is okay for those short passes, okay? They don't have to do the full, usually I teach like, you know, bring it back to 90, cock it up here and then go over the top, right? For those short passes, you'll notice that some of them almost do kind of like a sidearm let me see how you do a short pass. Yep. See that motion? That again. So she's going kind of like this, and she's been able to do very, very well with that, even though it's like this. So I don't have to, I don't have to totally make it so that everybody has the same motion. You see Patrick Mahomes do a lot of that, and that's totally fine. Now what happens when I go, let's say 10 to 20 yards? over the top. I'm gonna go a little, let's go slow motion on that. What changes with your arm? Your arm goes higher and over your head and then fully extends. You see that? So let's do that in slow motion. Come over here, get in there. All right, so let me see how that looks. Stop right there. Now it comes up and then what happens? You're going over. So that's where you're gonna, if you're going long, even with someone who's kind of like a sidearm or a short, you know, they've got this. If they're going long, that's when it's important to go back here like this, okay? You're going like a 90 degree angle, and then you're coming over the top. That gives them the power. If you try to do, remember we uh, were working on a uh, an out and an up pattern, which we'll show you in just a second. And when you try to go like 12, 15, 20 yards, what happens if you're trying it's, to do? It hits the ground before you know it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So she's just getting comfortable with this. Now that we're going longer passes, and for this age group, it's so important for them to be able to go over the top, right? So, all right, so let's try a short out pattern. I'm just gonna do it right here. Let's try to stay in. So we're gonna go that way. So you're gonna stand right here. And you can watch your arm for the short out pattern. Actually, let's do an in pattern. I'm just gonna go in and in. Ready? Go. All right. 
see how it's it's tight she keeps it like this and then she goes like that everybody's gonna have a little bit different right but that was just fine and effective that way now how do you get the spiral Really. <laughs> Let me see. If you were teaching me, how do I? How, what do I do with my fingers? Do like a little. Like, like, yeah. like, like a, a little. Roll. <laughs> a little like a roll. Roll. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna do a deep post, and I need you to go over the top. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Go. <laughs> yeah. Let's try it again. That's practice, baby. Sammy, you're gonna need to, even though you're used to doing this, I want it to come all the way up. Now, what's also gonna happen with your feet is you're gonna have to step into it a little bit more. Sammy also does this, like, she doesn't have to, when she, and we'll talk about this in a second, when you're getting rushed, it doesn't phase you too much because you can quickly just, you're, you know? But when you're going deep, what you wanna do, you want to set your feet especially this back one because that's going to give you the power to be able to push it down the field okay so So you're gonna wanna over the here we go. Ready. Let's step up a little bit so they can see. Ready, go. Now we're gonna show you something pretty cool. We're working on this out and up. What happens with the out and up? It's a fake out and then they do a fly. Okay, so what's important with the fake? It's not drop the ball. Okay. So what she means by that is I have somebody's gonna do a fake out this way. So I wanna do a quick pump fake, call it a pump fake. And it doesn't take a lot. And I, it's a small ball, so it's very easy. Some of them it's a little bit harder. So if they need to, if they need to hold on to the ball like this, that's okay. I'd rather that than it fall out, all right? So feel free to, and it doesn't take a lot to be able to, right? First one was like this, and then she really opened up. See that? You gotta really open up when you're doing that. What else is important? To watch where everyone else is at, and also be aware of rushing. Okay. And placement of where your people are. Okay, so if I have, let's say a play, where I know I'm going to this person, that's like the star, that's where I wanna go. What am I doing with all these over here? You still have to watch them because maybe that one player isn't open. Okay. And you could have to make a quick decision to throw to another person. Right. So a lot of times we're, we're doing our progressions as a quarterback. You're looking at, at everyone else and you don't want to just be looking, I'm right. going over there. Yeah. I'm definitely going there. Right. Sometimes you want to you wanna look everybody else off and then you go for it which is good. Now, how do you av avoid a rusher? Um, it's more of just getting out of the way and moving to one side or the other. Okay. So what do you mean one side or the other? If I, let's step back a little bit. If I'm coming in as a rusher, which side is your best side to throw on? Left. So you're gonna run that way? Yeah. So if I'm coming at you as a rusher, you're gonna go that way. Why do you think you don't want to go, even though you're right-handed, go this way? Just wondering. I don't know, it just feels more comfortable to me. Okay, yeah. So every quarterback's gonna have their own dominant style, dominant way. You wanna teach them, so I'm gonna come at you. <clears throat> I'm gonna come at you. Uh, I'll go half speed. Okay. And how do you avoid someone like me coming at you? <clears throat> 
Nice. Nice. That was one move, and then she moved to her dominant side. You know, if I was a quarterback, you know, my dominant side might be this way. So if they're coming at me, I'm not gonna move this way because then I'm in, you know, in a weird position. I wanna know where my dominant side is, and then as they're coming, whatever they are, Sammy used to really get flustered, but now, what did you do? I step back, wait for them to come, and then move out of the way. That's it. Do that out and up, as if it's happening on the field, and I'm coming in as a rusher. Okay. Let me see how you would handle that. Go. So you want to practice that over and over with some of your top plays. You want to make sure that they don't have to make the decision in the moment. They're already ready for it. So she knows this out pattern is coming early. It's pretty quick, especially with the person that, that's there. So I might make a quick move whichever way. For her, it's left, right? So, right, and then I'm going for it. But she's not letting them have the control. She makes one quick move. They're usually going by, and then she's making a quick decision and going. Awesome, anything else? Awesome. All right, well, this is Coach D and Sammy. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. What? Slam the, smash the bell notification. You know, guys, who knows what the heck's going on? I'm obviously out of shape. If you need playbooks, if you need any of that good stuff, practice schedules, any of that, go to Flag Football with Coach D. This has been Sammy, Coach D. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. All right, here we go.